Good evening, Matt Thompson at the AFL Tribunal, where Carlton Captain Chris Judd has tonight been suspended for four matches, found guilty of misconduct. It was a complex case. It went for some three hours, the hearing here tonight. Judd's lawyer had argued that his conduct was only reckless. The AFL prosecutor, though, said the conduct was intentional. In the end, the three-man jury agreed that it was intentional misconduct and therefore a more serious charge, and that's why the four-match penalty has been handed to Judd. There was some argument that it could have been as many as seven weeks. Judd's lawyer was arguing that it could only be two weeks, perhaps. So somewhere in the middle there, in the end, a four-week suspension for Chris Judd. Also through the course of the night, we heard from the Kangaroos doctor who said that Lee Adams actually needed an injection in his shoulder to continue playing on Friday night. And we also heard from the boundary umpire who reported Judd and said that the conduct was unsportsmanlike. Let's hear now from the Blues skipper as he left the hearing room, as well as Carlton's football manager, Andrew McKay. Look, we're, uh, we're, we're disappointed, but we, we respect the, the tribunal's decision. Um, you know, just like to reiterate, it was never my intention to, uh, to hurt Lee Adams. Um, you know, I've obviously expressed this apology to him personally since the event, and we'd just like to extend that apology to, uh, to the Carlton Footy Club and their supporters for obviously letting them, letting them down. Jeez. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Andrew? Yeah, look, I'd just like to reiterate on behalf of the football club and make it clear that certainly under no circumstances did Chris uh, intend to harm uh, Lee in any way. Uh, it's an unfortunate incident. Um, we'll obviously be assessing our, uh, the situation and determining tomorrow morning whether we take the matter further. Uh, we don't really want to make too much comment in the meantime. So uh, thanks for coming and thanks for your time. But just to be clear, you are considering a penalty in terms of, as an appeal in terms of the penalty? Uh, we're con considering all our options. That's all we want to say at this stage. So the key point from Andrew McKay there is that the Blues haven't ruled out appealing the penalty here. We'll see what happens tomorrow. You'd have to say it's unlikely, but you do never know. Carlton coach Brett Ratton is due to front the cameras tomorrow morning as well. For now, from the AFL Tribunal, good night.